Ray loved the whole spirit of Ryerson. I'm a Ryerson alumna. So when I came along, it was almost um, serendipity. Ryerson was home for me. And then it became home for him. Ray and I first joined the Ryerson board almost 20 years ago. He would always say, we are all so fortunate to achieve what we have and we need to invest it back in the communities. Ray was there at every single meeting, paying attention, listening, and I got to work with him in a cause he loved, which was really the students at Ryerson. I was very fortunate to have known Raymond Chang uh, as a student. He was very much engaged. Ray was Ryerson's third chancellor, serving from 2006 to 2012. Ray Chang's life was a model of service to others, and though he's greatly missed, he has left an enduring legacy. He was genuinely curious about people's life journeys, and he, he really did love being the chancellor at Ryerson. He loved interacting with students. He made a promise to students that he would be the chancellor for students, and really and truly, he lived up to it. It's not just a phrase that was given because, you know, he was a good person. It was a phrase that was given because he lived by that. Every week he was in a class. He didn't go in to do anything other than observe and, you know, probably learned a few things along the way. I think he took a dance class with the dance students one day because he just wanted to be part of what was going on at Ryerson. He was at Ryerson and he was there all the time connecting with the different events and groups. When you're a student speaking to an incredibly successful individual, it, it's intimidating as is. Raymond really knew how to just laser focus into the individual he was connecting with, making the person feel comfortable, at ease, and obviously very special. He was incredibly successful, but he never forgot how hard it was to get started and to help people who were getting started. And that was a, a passion of his. He just very much believed that education was a great equalizer. He for sure had the deepest belief in the importance of education and particularly lifelong education. As a young kid, I would see him work all day and study at night. With Ryerson, the School of Continuing Education really gave individuals that flexibility to get their education. That really spoke to him. When he was approached for the naming at the Chang School, he was really, really uh, a little bit anxious about it. The Ryerson team was able to, to show him how important that was. It was difficult to talk Ray into actually naming our school because he didn't really want his name up there. And after we talked long, he began to understand that it would be a profound symbol. He was a compassionate human being who would go out of his way to help anyone who needed help. I'll never forget, I got, I got a chance to go to his celebration of life that we did. The amount of gratitude and love that people had for him, that's a legacy that no money can ever actually account for. It was more about the service and the way that he made people feel. His support of Ryerson, I think, is legendary. It's about the time he spent with students. What a role model. And I, I wish I could achieve 10% of what he achieved through what he did for the community. I will be eternally grateful forever for Ray's generous contributions, not just as our benefactor, but as our friend, our colleague, our inspiration. The G. Raymond Chang Outstanding Volunteering Awards are named in Ray's honor for his deep belief in the importance of volunteering. There's importance in recognizing and showcasing people that do donate their, their time and funds to worthwhile causes. If you're making a positive impact on somebody's life, you've just made the world a little bit better. And that's what he would want to focus on. So I think having these awards named after him is fabulous.